Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Well today guys, um, I'm just going to tell you a bit of something that I built up and uh, show you some pretty cool, um, very bright flashes of arc. Uh, what I've done today guys, well what should I say, what I've done in the last, in the last 24 hours. This is not a transformer, this is a capacitor. There is eight capacitors in there guys. Eight ones like that. Do you remember the... I had uh, four of them down here. And... Uh, no, six, four or six. I had six down here, sorry, because I took two out of a machine. And I got two when I went up there. And uh, there's eight capacitors in there. All stacked up, up to here. What I did, I uh, got... I lifted them upside down so the, the plate is at the bottom of them and linked them all together there was some uh, quite thick uh, probably 26 gauge wire uh, linked them all together and soldered it and that was basically the uh, anode, uh, the cathode and then I turned them over and joined them all up because there was a screw on each for each capacitor to, uh, to attach a wire and I linked them all up together with um, some 30 kV wire and then put a shroud over it like this and then turn them, up, turn them upside down or should I say lay them on the sides and then, then bring them all the way up to here just below the bottom of this and connected anode and cathode how amazing is that? and then of course filled it all the way up for oil left about half an inch at the top there a little bit of expansion because well there is an expansion diaphragm at the bottom of here it's actually I'll show you where it is if you can it's actually there this is the diaphragm at the bottom of here it's like a big rubber um, diaphragm in there it looks like a speaker cone with some um, stainless very thin um, plating just to push it up and of course it's able to reflex like that just like a cone in a speaker and that of course takes any um, expansion from the oil as it gets warm but you see these capacitors when you've been using them they do get warm and they're all 75 kV and of course they're all in parallel so I get um, you know I get a good 8.00 microfarads at 75 kV. The good thing about this is that I don't have to keep messing about with capacitors. They're all in here. They're all steady. You know, this thing can. The way I've actually put these caps in there, there's enough room all the way around there, each cap. And uh, you know, this 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 packing as well to stop them from moving around. They're quite snug inside of there. The way that I've done it. And behind each one of these plates there's some quite thick insulation as well which covers each side which actually came with this transformer when it was here I don't know if I showed them on video they're actually made of the same very similar plastic to that it's very flexible and it's got quite good um, insulation properties so there's a, like a piece here there's a piece down the side there's a piece down there there's a piece down underneath uh, around the back that goes all the way all the way down the side and there's a piece just underneath with some holes in it for the oil to go through for the dissipation of um, the oil and as you can see quite easy to connect each one up this is just to go over there just to stop any stop it from flashing over it would be nice to uh, stick an insulator, lint some insulators in there I did try the one just up there because these actually screw out underneath there's a, um, a quite a good nut well it's not a nut it's like a ring with a thread on it which holds these in place and then each ring has got some allen key bolts to stop it from turning so you just undo the allen key bolts unthread it and they just pull straight out so I could easily have two insulators on here because they just fit straight in bracket underneath of the insulator to hold it and uh, jobs are good in but I just use the federal connectors for now and uh, until something comes along but it's pretty damn cool that is one awesome capacitor and I really have to share that with you guys do not touch 
dangerous. <laughs> so, stuck myself a nice little couple of warning signs on it. I've got to keep the original um, stickers, of course, which uh, this is what that one read look grid modulator, filament control. There we go, part number. I'll keep that on there just to uh, from when it used to be used as um, a transformer and the plate as well I'll keep that on there so this is going to be in parallel with the arc from the transformer here 150 kV x-ray with the 75 kV cap so the good thing about that as well is that you just basically connect it straight to um, a coil Tesla coil to give yourself some more capacitance Oof, for the uh, toroid so it does look pretty cool I am quite happy about that it's, it's worked out to be a pretty good um, project I had all those caps still sitting about every time I had to link them up I had to put insulation under them and bloody crocodile clip wires to it and just messing about where now I just have to move this thing about and connect it up brilliant Right then guys, now these arcs are very, very, very loud and very, very bright. It's like, um, it's like the flash of um, a camera. That's how bright these things are. There's, there's that much power behind these caps. That's all I'm going to say. So I'm going to turn the lights down. I've got my fan on at the minute because it's been very hot guys, very hot indeed. Let's turn this one off as well. I love me earphones, you have to wear earphones, it's just ridiculous. Hold on one minute, I need to put you down for a sec. Here we go. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I was disconnected there. Here we go, sorry about that. Hey. It actually jumped from there to there then. You can smell the ozone. Damn you can smell the ozone. 
<clears throat> Cold as ice. So that's what I've been doing guys. That's what I've been building for the past 24 hours. <clears throat> I had to build it to make sure that I did it all right and uh, I wasn't going to get no flashovers inside the unit. Took me time with it and it's rugged as hell. You could throw that thing around and it wouldn't do no damage to the caps inside of there. That's how I've done it. Really cool. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. <clears throat> Hope you're all well and looking after yourself. Uh, sorry I've not really done anything uh, lately guys, I've just been busy with uh, other things. As you know my wife's pregnant and uh, having a baby in September and I'm 